just for me and Bob or for Bob and I, me, me and Bob, Bob and me. See, this is, this is what's not going to get edited. Hi, I'm Melanie. Can you believe it? I'm doing a video. I'm so happy about it. Even though my sidekick, Molly, is not here. She's at her home, but I asked her the other day, I just said, should I just start making some videos without you in it? And she was like, yes, mama, yes. So I'm gonna try to do it without her until maybe things are more conducive to her coming back and visiting. I miss her because we talk off of each other and we see life so differently from each other. So I hate not having her opinion or her voice in the whole thing, but this is the way it's gonna be. And I told her I'm gonna try to just do it on one take. And so she won't have to be editing a lot of things since she's working and redoing the house and all that kind of thing. So if I stutter around and say things that are not making sense, or I do that, or, and, um, all that. It's just, I think, gonna be the way it is. And I hope that you can just get you a glass of tea and sit down and visit with me for a while and let us just talk, because that's what I would hope that you would feel comfortable doing. So, Happy New Year to you. I'm excited about a new year. Thankful that 2021 is behind me and all of us and we can move forward and I am praying and hoping for good things ahead. And part of hoping for good things ahead is I'm hoping that I will have a good attitude and good response to any challenges that may come my way. Cause in that what most of it is, is yucky stuff happening and then the way we handle it is pretty much how things go. So hope you had a wonderful holiday. And I'm just gonna chit chat about what is going on. We are supposed to move once again on January the 18th. We've had a buyer fall through and then we had another contract on the house and supposedly we will be leaving here January the 18th. I just get where what happens will be what happens. I'm not gonna get all excited or all in the and the, get the mully grubs, you know, and get all down about it. It'll happen when it's supposed to happen, and I'm trying to stay positive about it and look forward to that. So that's what's going on with me. My health update from pancreatic, you know, they thought I had pancreatic cancer to now. I go and have another MRI done, but y'all, I don't even want to be talking about all that health stuff. I'm just thankful to God I'm here and things are good. And instead, I just want to talk about Things that really matter, really matter, like going to Walmart about 7.30 this morning. Bob and I just said, let's just get out of the house a bit. And so we went to Walmart and that is such a good time to go because not very many people are there. And so I had plenty of buggy room to, to move my buggy around and, um, I ended up getting a few little things and I thought, well, I'll just show y'all that. that. That'll that work out good. And one of the things that I got is a color that I just don't really think of myself as looking good in it, but I love the color. So I decided for 10 bucks, I'm gonna get it. And it is just a pull over one of these really soft um, Sherpa-y type things, but it was reduced and down to 10 bucks. And I thought 10 bucks, if I if I look anemic or jaundiced, well, I can wear it around the house. And then I found this. Oh, and it is so soft too. It's like pink camo. But I have found with this Secret Treasures brand, actually, okay, do y'all see what I'm wearing right here? This is Secret Treasures Walmart brand, I do believe. And it is so soft and I wear it outside in public. And I mean, it's like, cam oh, I'm buying more camo. Oh, well, um, it's just so comfortable. And I have a pink 
kind of a puffy vest that's would look good with either one of these. So I'm, I just did it. I did it. Now this is one of those purchases that I'll be thinking, Melanie, why did you get this? Okay, there was this butterfly. Y'all see that? That's kind of, what is that? Lisa Frank, you know, it had all the erasers and, and uh, notebooks and stuff. It's kind of that loud, but it was, oh, this was so cheap. I think it was reduced down to $4, maybe three or $4, I think. And then in another department, well, look, there's leggings. Now, I don't think I'm going to be going outside in, in, into the public arena with these butterfly leggings. Uh, I just would feel a little bit five-year-oldish, maybe. Then, and I don't think it's going to look that attractive. But around the house, yes, for the winter, that is, that's perfect. Um, what else? Oh, this is a reminder that I always love checking the Christmas clearance because there's stuff that doesn't necessarily have to be Christmas that's in there and marked down to 75% off was what today was. So this was a candle and it smells so good. It's called warm apple pie and it was 75% off. So I think it ended up being like $1.74 or something like that. And for $1.74, I'll go with that. And then this, this is Yankee Candle, and it was in the Christmas department because it's balsam and cedar. But I mean, in my opinion, if you like balsam and cedar in December, you can love it in January too. So I grabbed that up and it was cheap. Yeah, I think it was maybe $1.95 or something in Yankee Candle. That Yankee stuff, it can get kind of pricey, can't it? Okay, and uh, I wanted to get over here with one of my presents that was very special to me this year. In fact, I got two. I may just, I may, I may just do that for, that'll give me another video, won't it? And I won't be just rushing and, and trying to get ideas. Okay, back to Walmart where I was this morning at the at the crack of dawn it's what it seemed like i decided let me scoot this over here y'all and i just decided you know what i'm gonna go ahead and get valentine's taken care of because because valentine's is fun and i'm a last minute person and then sometime by the time i get around to doing it Giving the grandkids Valentine's is just like candy. And that's not necessarily that they need candy, especially after Christmas, then Halloween. You know, you just get into this candy thing and somebody's got to pay those those dental visits. So I decided, you know what? I'm While well, they've got a good selection and they've already got the stuff out, I'm going to get them a Valentine's shirt that they can wear to school and, and get a little use out of it besides popping some some Snoopy shaped chocolate some, you know. I So I got them these, and these are just the cutest little t-shirts, and they were $5.98, and I'm gonna wrap them up and, and put them in a cute bag, and who knows, I might add to it, although, you know, I am one of those grandmas. It's either feast or famine. I feel like sometimes I go, oh, goodness, kids, I'm so sorry that your cookie forgot that I need to buy you an Easter something. Uh, you know, I want to be, it's not about buying, but do you know what I mean? Where I sometimes wait good intentions, good intentions, and then here comes the special day and nothing, nothing. So I'm always so proud when I figure out to do something ahead of time. So one of my, you know, every January we try to come up with resolutions or either we completely avoid them altogether. But every year I think I want to be more organized, more thoughtful to people. I want to give them a present. Uh, 
it, send them a card, show some love. I want to be that way, but it, I don't always follow through and get it done. So here's another one. It's got three cats at the bottom. And so that would be good. And then they have this little dress. It's pretty, it's pretty wild. But I thought my Molly's little girl Hattie, uh, they didn't have these in bigger sizes for the bigger girls and probably good or they'd look like nightclub singers. But uh, she may not even wear this out in public. I don't know what her mom and dad, daddy will say, but it just looked pretty. I wouldn't mind, gosh, I wouldn't mind that. I could just wear that around. That's not bad. I like that. And then there's the boys. So this is totally, totally not exciting for boys, but it was red and gray and it's just, it's gonna be a Valentine's shirt for my oldest grandson who has now surpassed me in height. And he is, is he 10 or 11? Anyway, is it, isn't that the weirdest? It's, it's strange when your kids pass you up and then your grandchildren, and then you're like, wow, I, I, I really am getting on up there. Now, these shirts at Walmart, they're just, you know, they're nothing fancy, but they had these, and I must say, my husband wears a larger size, and they had some 3XLs, and they were $4. So, for $4, he can work in these. These are, um, uh, George brand, but you know, for a work shirt or something that I think that's perfect. And then I found this little hoodie and I got that for one of my grandsons too. So none of this is super exciting, but it's so nice to just kind of roam around in the quiet peacefulness of your local Walmart and pick up a few little hidden treasures and feel like you're ahead of the game. Now, I'm not quite ahead of the game because I'm still sitting in front of this tree, which has not been taken down. But I think I've talked to y'all about this tree before. And I don't know why I think it's so funny, but I have to laugh about this tree because, and I'm going to read the sign. I put the name of it up over here. The box is over here. This is from Brylin Home, B R Y. L-A-N home. And this is a tree that we literally put up in about a minute and a half. It just, it, it pulls up like in a, it just, boop, that's what you do. Boop, just like this. And it pulls up, y'all see this? I know, I know, but remember we're living out here in, a, in 600 square feet till we get moved and it's a postage stamp size of a place. And so I, this, this to me just tickles me off. <laughs> All of the uh, decorations are already placed on it. So you just have to lift it up and it's small and it sits in the corner. But I think it is six feet tall, but it doesn't take up much space. And so for people who are uh, you know, the kids aren't here on Christmas morning, you know, they're grown up and just for me and Bob or for Bob and I, me, me and Bob, Bob and me, see, this is, this is what's not going to get edited. That's, it's just how that's going to be. So, uh, it's perfect. It's perfect. It takes up little space yet provides hours and hours of pleasure with its lights and decorations. So I wanted to share that with you and I'm gonna put the link to that down below because I've actually had several friends say, tell me about that Christmas tree y'all have that took two minutes to put up. And so I'm gonna share it with you and it might be just the thing that somebody, that somebody needs. Now I have been doing some reading uh, during the the days and I thought well, I'll just bring one of my books that I have finished and This is a book that my friend Gabrielle sent to me She sent a little a little love package to me, which I greatly appreciated 
and she sent some books in it, and this is the one that I have completed. And it is Kristen Hanna, The Four Winds. And I loved this. Gabrielle and I do have this in common, is that we both like books that are just like a little slice of life in an out of the way place, in just the corner of somebody's world. And you know what? Just come to think about that. I think that's what I like so much about YouTube is because I feel like when I'm watching some other people that I'm just getting a little slice of someone's life in an out of the way place that maybe I wouldn't ever get to see or meet or know. So this book was getting to know uh, someone that lived through, and this is fiction, based on reality, uh, the Dust Bowl and the depression. And there was so much I learned and became aware of. Like when I've heard of dust storms and the dust bowl, I, I never processed that in my mind, how that dust got down into their lungs and made people so ill. And you know, you could die from it. That never, never crossed my mind. I never thought that through. But this is a great book that, uh, just let you know how it would have been to have lived in the maybe late 20s, 30s, something like that. Just a lot of different family issues and it takes place in Texas. I live in Texas, but it's the part of Texas that's closer to Oklahoma. And I guess I also never thought that Texas was part of the those years, the Dust Bowl or yeah, anyway, so I finished that book and I liked it and I liked the author, I liked the way she wrote. I'm also, and thank you, Gabrielle. If you're watching this, thank you, Gabrielle, who now lives in Colorado, far, far away, but we still love her. Um, I'm also reading through my Bible, but I'm reading it through chronologically. And this, the Bible recap, that is by Tara, and yeah, Tara Lee Cobble is great. Every day I know exactly how many chapters I need to read and it's in the historical order of how the Bible was written. So it, it, this explains, if there's a question I have, if it's not answered in the notes, then I love the way that she just brings it to light and explains it. And let me say this about the Bible, because someone said to me, there's such horrible things in the Bible. Yeah, there is. There, there's such horrible things in life. There are things in the Bible that are descriptive. It's describing, just like the Dust Bowl. It's not telling you that, oh, we should all be happy to live in a Dust Bowl. It's telling you about a specific time in history. And parts of the Bible are descriptive, not prescriptive, not, this isn't the way you should live. This isn't the way God wanted people to live. This isn't the way God wanted people to act. So it is descriptive of that time and place in history. So that's just a little something. Now, let me tell you about baking this year because I was excited. I wasn't working and I was really eager to get in and I'm not known for my cooking. I honestly can tell you I'm not that great of a cook. Uh, I fed a large family, but we just ate big pots of stuff, just big pots of stuff that I made, and my kids liked it and all. But as far as being a, a baker, cake maker, any of that, I'm just not. So I was very eager this year to get in there with a spatula and a, a mix and bowl and and just, you know, try things, and I did. And I wanted to share with you my, I guess my biggest success, the things that got the most compliments this year was my dressing, yay! Which came from one of my mamas, my grandmother, mama, Elba Hunter, came from her recipe, so I was thankful for that. I also, 
made sausage balls from grandmother's recipe and they are frozen in the freezer because they I made them special for Daisy because she she loves sausage balls and I've got to get them to her. The cookie that I made that got the best response this year was from my I feel like they're my friends. They don't know me from Adam, but I watch them all the time. Uh, the Whipper Wheel Holler. Uh, Miss Lori, as she likes to be called, Miss Lori and Mr. Brown. She made a cookie called Melting Moments, which I thought sounded very dramatic. Melting Moments but it's a different kind of cookie and it's not real sweet. And it's something that if you're a coffee drinker or a hot beverage, hot tea drinker, I think you'll like that cookie. And it's just different. It does just kind of melt in your mouth. And so um, I really, I really, I really liked it. And other people said, mama, those were good. So happy about that. So I'll try to link that for you below. I, let me see if there's anything else I need to uh, share with you. Um, I don't know. I can't think of too many other things. It, I'm, I'm kind of in a holding pattern until the house gets sold. And so we can't pack up these last few things, you know. Uh, so I'm just kind of in a holding pattern until that gets done. In the meantime, I... We'll just um, read, getting ready for uh, some church stuff coming up. And uh, I am will start teaching again or pick back up a Bible study that I've been teaching. But otherwise, I'm just kind of hanging out. We've had warm, warm weather for December and now January, but I think the colder weather is about to hit us. So did y'all have a successful cookie or some kind of recipe that, that everybody really liked? Or did you have a good Christmas? And to me, a good Christmas is when family can get together. And I know a lot of people, their plans were thwarted by one thing or another. And I think we know what the one thing or another is. But I, I felt very blessed that, that we all ended up getting to, to be together. We had one that had to kind of come in later because of, of illness, but then she, uh, then she got to join the group. So thank you all for watching us this year and uh, this past year, and I hope you'll continue this year. I'm not going to have anything just really profound to say, but I enjoy connecting with you and hearing about your lives. And so I hope that you will like and subscribe and come back again and we'll visit some more. Okay, y'all? Happy, happy new year. And I'm going to try to see you a whole lot more often than what I have been. All right? All right. Bye.